Hey, howdy and happy day. The governor in California, you know what? He wouldn't know a buttermilk biscuit from a buffalo chip. That guy, he's dumb as a stick and uh, I don't know, just ah, sharp as a marble. So many things. I mean, the laws that keep on piling up in California are out of this world. Maybe they're all Martians. I mean, here's a new one that says this. It's insane. He says there's <laughs> this bill. It's not quite law yet. I guess it's in the legislature, but it's going to be a law because they control the houses, right? And that's what happens. It's now going to be illegal for a shop owner to let his employees interfere with a shoplifter. So as you see somebody stealing, you own a store, somebody's stealing, it's against the law to interfere with that person. Have you got that? I mean, let's have a moment of silence. Really? I don't think so. You go up and you smack them. Laws be darned. Bad laws should not be obeyed. This is insane. I, I mean, people now will just, they'll, they'll rush, they'll line up every morning just to go in so they can steal. There's already a law in place in California that says that you're okay to steal up to, I think it's $980 or some such, but just under $1,000. And now they're saying that you can't interfere with that person. So you can actually take a shopping cart, you can go shopping and you can just wheel it right out to your car. Is this really happening? I, why pay for anything? I mean, look at San Francisco. All the stores are leaving, all the stores, big box stores, small stores, they're going. They said, this is nuts. People are coming in every day and robbing us. And these people continue to get elected. I don't believe Americans are that stupid. How is this happening? Oh, I know. It's not who votes that counts. It's who counts the votes. Maybe a good rule of thumb. Moving on here, trying to get happy now. Good rule of thumb. This won't make us happy either. Is that the louder someone declares themselves to be something, the less likely it is that they actually are that thing. Intelligent people don't need to tell anyone they're smart. Funny people don't need to tell anyone how funny they are. Honest, loyal, hardworking people, etc., etc. Liberals come to mind with this statement because they always tell us how great they are. You know, <laughs> I had a guy apply for a job recently and he kept telling me he was honest. And I thought, wow, why do you keep on saying that? And he said, well, you need to know I'm honest. And I said, that's for me to learn from your actions. It's not for you to tell me. I mean, really? I, mean, I don't trust you now because you keep telling me that I should. And it's kind of like it's biblical and it's Shakespearean. Those who call others usually are themselves. That kind of rolls in with that talk also. Ah, just a wiser advisor stuff. Social media giant, YouTube. They took down an interview recently of Robert F. Kennedy because he claims that the chemicals in the water are turning kids into transgenders. <laughs> He's got a lot of little goofy things, but I kind of like him. He's a Democrat. You know what? His uh, uncle, I guess, John Kennedy, was the president. He was also a Democrat, and he was also a life member of the NRA. And, and he had a lot of right-wing things because the Democrat Party has left a lot of Democrats. The Liberal Party has left a lot of Liberals. And they're kind of homeless now. They don't know what to do because they don't you know, live with, within the bounds or they don't live like these crazy people tell them that they should live like. In any event, this uh, Robert F. Kennedy, he's interesting. I've listened to him and many Democrats are now saying, the left-wing ones are saying, hey, you're running for the wrong party. You should be running for the Republican Party. You know, he, uh, he thinks there should be control in the border. He thinks a lot of things that are kind of common sense things. Hey, Democrats, maybe all you real left-wing Democrats should move to Venezuela and let the party kind of get back to where it was. It's still too far left for me and for many Americans, of course, but it would have a better chance. Fox News, it's full of the Biden scandal. You know, you should do a wealth test. The Biden family has tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars, and how did you get it? They're digging deep, and they're finding things. Switch over to CNN, not a mention. Not a mention about any of this. Really? I, I mean, are we on different planets? I, I mean, I have a screen on, in my office, I'm, I'm two screens, one on CNN and one on Fox News. And really, you do have to look at it and think, I'm on a different planet now. Ah, the president, Biden, he falls a lot. He's like a parachute with gravity, right? He's always falling. He needs to stay in a chair till his term is up and don't get hurt because the alternative isn't pretty. And, th and that would be the vice president. <laughs> Not nice. So Biden, here's some advice, more advice from the wiser advisor. Stay home, sit in your chair. Don't let gravity play with you, okay? Now, lastly, the logger. <laughs> there was a liberal a tree hugger. A group of them came up and were hugging all the trees, and the logger said, ah, kiss my axe. Oh. <laughs> See ya.